They were asking seven years old in classroom in North Korea to kill themselves if they got, get caught by like you know helping the revolution. And the response to North Korea's nuclear test by Biden is an epic. And this is like my question to all of you guys. So when Iraq wasn't even confirmed to have a nukes, there were just like a lot of speculation they had a nukes, and Americans were using this. This is like all sugary coated words about we fight for freedom and democracy and then once went to Iraq try to free the people by a dictator. It is so thousand percent confirmed that Kim Jong-un has nukes and hydrogen bombs. And we are like sitting here saying, okay, we are gonna respond accordingly, but I still wanna talk to you nicely. And <laughs> am I crazy not being able to like comprehend this? Like what's going on? What does it take more Kim Jong-un to do for America to act? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy Park. I'm a North Korean defector, human rights activist. So guys, today I have a very interesting news. So there has been a first trial against a North Korean official in the U.S. just happened last week. Uh, Malaysia, I mean before I start all this story, I just want to thank Malaysian people and the government who stood on for their grounds and stood for justice this time. So Malaysia had a diplomatic relationship with North Korea a very long time and believe it or not guys, I mean, we would think who, what country on earth would be okay with dictatorship in North Korea, but apparently most of countries are. I mean, North Korea got their consulate in, I mean, in Sweden, so many other even Nordic countries. And Malaysia was also one of those countries that had a close relationship with the North Korean regime. And even when Kim Jong-un killed his half-brother in Malaysian airport, uh, Malaysia did not end the diplomacy. So this time, the U.S. asked the Malaysian government to hand over a business businessman. His name was Moon Chermyung. He uh, was doing a money laundering and also buying a lot of luxury goods that were against the sanction. And, then, and here is okay. I have to explain many things before I start this story. So there has been an international sanction against Kim Jong Un's regime. So therefore, the luxury goods, guys, and I'm not talking about giving or like bandage or like medicine, like buying a Benz, buying a you know, BMW, buying a Chanel bag, all those luxury goods cannot go into North Korea because that doesn't re enrich North Korean people's lives. It's going into Kim Jong-un for his pleasure. Therefore, these are the items for the sanction that is not allowed for Kim Jong-un to buy. However, Moon Chermyung was in Malaysia since 2013 to 2018. He did a six times money laundering, 15 million amount of luxury goods he bought to please Kim Jong-un. So therefore, the US government asked Malaysia to hand him over to America to, for him to be going to a trial and be charged to committing the international law. Uh, and this time, Malaysia stood for their ground and then gave him to America. So right now, Mr. Moon is in American land, so yeah, and his trial just began last week. Uh, in a way that I'm very nervous about this because that when when these like uh, officials go abroad, their families are hostages in, back in North Korea, and. In that scenario, what North Korea teaches their spies is that once you get caught, and if you know that you cannot get free, then first thing, do you know, like, can you guess what they're asking them to do and train them to do, which is killing themselves. So uh, they literally even teach the normal citizens that if you get caught and if you cannot even like, find a way to kill yourself, then like bite your tongue so you bleed to death. That's what North Korean teaches kids to do. This is the ultimate propaganda. And they, in North Korean textbooks, we don't learn about you know, how, how the soil forms, how the geography, none of that. Literally, they were teaching me, I still remember this in North Korean textbook, a girl who was like American age, gotta be seven years old or eight years old. His, her name was Kum Suni. And when during the Japanese invasion, 
she was working for the the communist party and when she got caught and she killed herself you know for the revolution so they were asking seven years old in classroom in north korea to kill themselves if they got get caught by like you know helping the revolution therefore there is a high chance that moon termion might kill himself right now in the american custody so i really hope that american government watch out and because if he kills himself of course north korea gonna say oh america tortured him that's why he got killed and of course that's not the truth and for right now moon termion he doesn't have a lot of options if he cooperate and helping American intelligence to learn how Kim Jong-un breaks the sanction and getting all those money and foreign goods but then his family gonna be in danger so this is such a I don't even know what <laughs> what should I be hoping I mean of course I understand like how he cannot be giving up because of his family members are hostages by the Kim Jong-un however it's still so amazing if we still take that risk and uh, sacrifice for freedom and his people and if he really cooperate with the rest of the free world that we can uh, learn a lot more how to starve Kim Jong-un and his like foreign money source anyway so it's incredible that what Malaysia did this time but the other news is like so disappointing what I mean Biden did this time about North Korea's missile test so we all learned that North Korea conducted uh, two missile tests on the March 21st. And of course, like, uh, I mean, we talk about that, but before that, North Korea did another weapon test and the US government didn't even bother to tell us about it because they thought their, the range of missile they tested were not against international like, sanction law. So they were like, even not bothering to reporting it to us that North Korea went back to testing their weapons. And this time when the North Korea tested again, the two missile tests on the 21st, South Korea reported it and that's why the US really had no choice and they had to report it too. And the response to North Korea's nuclear test by Biden is an epic. So let's watch this and then like, let me know what you guys think. We're consulting with our allies and partners and uh, there will be uh, responses if they choose to escalate. Um, we will respond accordingly. But I'm also prepared uh, um, for some form of diplomacy. <laughs> what response accordingly? Like, what does that even mean? This is like what still I cannot, you know, believe that. What do you mean? This, this country has been there for 75 years. Kim Jong-un has been around longer than Biden has been became president. Like it's not even one year. Kim Jong-un has been in power since like 2011, basically 10 years. He knows his game. There's no energy in Biden when he responds to the most brutal dictator in this modern hi human history. So like, what do you mean respond like accordingly? Is this like some child like playing with the fire we are talking about or with a dictator that is backed by the world's second economy, China? And I will be talking about. I'm like, uh, I'm just so frustrated that I knew like this would happen. I mean, Trump, I mean, Biden didn't do anything when he was with Obama, and when North Korea was testing all those missiles and became, how, I mean, building their capability like to the today's world. And of course, he was so vocal about when Trump was trying to solve North Korea's nuclear issue, and he was saying, "I'm gonna be so much tougher on." that like you know little bastard Kim Jong-un and he was going to do something different and now he's soft as like marshmallow I guess he's so soft and I don't get it like what's wrong like so let's talk about North Korea's capability it's been definitely definitely threatening more and more and as the time passes by and this might be the last few years we have left to get North Korea under control and this is like my question to all of you guys. So when Iraq wasn't even confirmed to have a nukes, there were just like a lot of speculation they had on nukes. And Americans were using this, this like all sugary coated words about we fight for freedom and democracy and then once went to Iraq, tried to free the people by a dictator. 
It is so thousand percent confirmed that Kim Jong Un has nukes and hydrogen bombs, and we are like sitting here saying, "Okay, we are gonna respond accordingly." But I still want to talk to you nicely. And oh, am I crazy not being able to like comprehend this? Like, what's going on? What does it take more Kim Jong Un to do for America to act? I'm just like I'm in my with my like you know, I guess brain power I will never understand this like a puzzle. I mean of course I know a lot of people say oh because North Korea doesn't have oil that's it maybe is that really the simple answer? And I try usually not to choose a simple answer but in this case I really don't get it like North Korea clearly clearly has a weapon of mass destruction that can cause so much harm to entire humanity. And American president sitting here talking about no enthusiasm, no no energy, just saying like, "Oh, I will respond accordingly," and doesn't even have any specific plan. If like Biden is really, I mean, determined to deal with Kim Jong Un, he should have said, "If you test more missiles, Kim Jong Un, listen to me. This is what I'm gonna do to you. Blah blah blah. blah one, two, three, four, five, like that. That's what like real diplomacy. It's not about it all flowery words." And just like some words, like I'm gonna respond, but I don't even know what that means at this point. It's it's so frustrating to see how just this country that I thought was the land of justice, land of the free, and home of the brave, and looking at this most powerful and the country that I, I thought like the humanity dream, is bullied by little dictator, literally. And that that dictator is like. Enslaved 25 millions of people, human beings, for the last 70 years, and we still don't know how to respond. This country, America, with its capability, with their intelligence, still do not know what to do with Kim Jong Un. This is so worrisome, guys. Like, this is like, how are we trusting our government? They are so useless. And <laughs> so, anyway, I am hoping that. Biden comes to his senses. He understands that Kim Jong Un is not a joke, and he cannot be like、uh, treating Kim Jong Un like five years old. Okay, if you do this, I might punish you, but I don't even know what the punishment is gonna be look like. I hope that Kim only way to just like control Kim Jong Un is that really stay your ground and be tough with him. And I hope that Biden knows that he can do that. Like he is the president of the most powerful country on earth. If there's one person can like literally get like Kim Jong Un to behave, that's gonna be Biden right now. So he can he can use his power to against evil. And I really hope that he does. So thank you guys for coming to listen to North Korean news from me. And I'm looking forward to see your responses. Why do you think that what on earth that America is still not doing anything about North Korea, even though it's been thousand percent like confirmed that North Korea got hydrogen bombs and nuclear weapon, and this is gonna be some humanity's like mystery, and for me it's gonna be my lifetime mystery too. Thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys all next time.